You are watching. The Kingdom. When most people go out in order to achieve success, most times they forget about their families. So they have a lot of fun with their colleagues, but they forget about their children's annual functions. Most often, they do whatever it takes to get the attention of the boss, but they take their wife for granted. They show their ultimate happiness when they are with their clients Monday to Friday, but they forget to give a call to their parents, the old parents. Why does that happen? It's sad to see that most people give up their soul, they sacrifice and ignore their families while becoming professionally successful. So in the end, they find a lot of financial success. They have a lot of respect in their office. They have a lot of status in their community, but they're hardly connected with their family. Why would anybody do that? Why would anyone sacrifice and ignore their family to achieve professional success? Why would anyone give up their peace of mind and connection with family to have expensive things. After all, family comes first, right? My story is just like you. I started my career working for First Source. Then I moved to Business Standard, but somehow I felt unhappy in the jobs. So I started dipping my toe in entrepreneurship. I was never an instant success, no. Like most people, I had a few business failures in the beginning. I felt frustrated. I understood something was wrong. So I started taking different directions and I started taking real action because I wanted to get the kingdom. Then I started achieving professional success. People started respecting me. People started paying money to me. People started paying attention to me. Wow, I wrote books. I started giving speeches in front of different people. People started coming to me for autographs. They started coming to me for photographs. Amazing life, right? One day I got a call from Times of India and they said, Mr. Bishali, we want to feature you in Times of India. Then Conscious Millionaire Show wanted to interview me. I thought, this is it. I'm a big star now. And then huh, I developed ego because I had some money now. I thought I was bigger than my family. I could buy anything. I could fly anywhere. I could do anything. Who can stop me? After all, I'm successful. So I stopped speaking to my family a lot. I did not call them as often. I started ignoring my family. One day, I had a big argument with my father. And the very next day, I booked my ticket to Bangalore and I decided never to come back. After all, I was a big man now. Who could stop me? I did not miss my family much because I was busy. I was busy with my clients. I was busy with my team that was growing so fast. I was busy making a bigger name for myself. One day, while coming back from a client meeting, I saw a man with his son. They were very happy. They were smiling. They reminded me of my childhood. My father used to pick me up from school and we used to sing the song Ye Dosti Hum Nahi Chorenge which means we will never leave this friendship.
and then one day oh i could not hold it anymore i picked up the phone and i called my father papa i want to ask you something when you used to pick me up from school papa you used to take me home with your bicycle we used to sing a song ye dosti hum nahi chhodenge thinking of that song papa i was missing those moments very much today and i was missing you we had so much fun we had so much fun papa do you remember that song my father was silent i said papa papa do you remember that song he said i remember the song bishal do you remember the song i was speechless i started crying on the phone i said papa i've been a bad son i did not give my family quality time i ignored you i ignored ma i ignored bhai my father said bishal we were waiting for this call for a long time come here soon you are our small little child come home son i came back home and this time i was no more interested in just growing my business this time i was interested in growing my entire life i was looking for that transformation because i understood and i realized the fact that family comes first and i started reading books on how to achieve freedom i started reading and going to different audio programs i started going to different seminars and then i actually found from some of my personal mentors and i started masterminding which is one of the best success secrets that most people don't know about i understood the real step by step formula of financial and time freedom and not only that by achieving all that great things that i have achieved so far i understood that there was a system that i was missing so far and now by achieving the same system i achieved much more things in life some people have a lot of life but no style some people have a lot of style but no life very few people right now have both they have a lifestyle today i'm living my dream i love it when i can spend quality time with my family every day and we all are happy and grateful for it i love it i love it when at the end of my mother's birthday she says the best gift i have is your time vishal i love it i love it when i work only 10 to 20 hours per week only working when i want to work while making a big difference in other people's lives i love it i love it when i can support my family with my presence every day not just with my money i love it i love it when i take my old grandparents to different places and show them the world i love it i love it when i when i simply feel happy i love it the kingdom of my life was tired of having me as the slave when i started to show up in a bold way my entire life transformed and you know what it's an amazing feeling even you can become absolutely happy look I understand your challenges, I understand your struggles, I understand what you might be going through. I know that whatever you're doing in your professional life, I know you're doing it for your family. I understand that. Even I thought I was doing the same. But let me ask you one question. If you are you are on your deathbed right now, would you think, "Ah, oh, I should have spent more time in office?" Or will you think, "Ha, oh, I wish I spent more time with my son, with my daughter, with my wife, with my family. Which one? Office or the family? You see, not everybody gets a second chance. My father that day, my mother, my entire family gave me a second chance and I turned my life around. Today, I'm giving you a second chance so you can turn your life around 
I recommend to you right now, you go out and spend more time with your family, your son, your daughter, your wife, your parents. Spend time with those people who matter the most because remember that family comes first. The kingdom of your life is waiting for the king and that's you. Go out there because this is the kingdom.